The 3D Experience platform's got a ton to offer, but for now, don't get caught up in everything that's available. Let's just focus on SOLIDWORKS and making stuff. Think of the platform like your Windows desktop or your phone's operating system. Now, every time you start your PC, you probably go through a routine of like starting some applications like an email program or a chat application, maybe some other things that you launch every time and you get them all set up the way you want. The platform dashboards are kind of like that, except for design and data management tools. Let me show you what I mean. When you log in the first time, you're taken to the Welcome app. And it's actually a great place to start each time because you can easily launch SOLIDWORKS and you have quick access to your other design tools. We'll talk about those and see them in action later. Now, this view that we're looking at is just a saved set of tools grouped together to get to what you want. The customizable tabs at the top will take you to other tools that are focused on things like file and task management. You should have everything you need right here, but there are other dashboards created for you and you can create and customize your own if you want. Notice there's also a section there for more videos, tips, and lessons. In fact, there's a video that talks all about the interface and some other little tools in the platform once you're ready to get into it. It's the one there called Finding Your Way Around the 3D Experience Platform. Communities are another great resource over on the right there you can easily get to from the Welcome app. Connect with other makers to discuss whatever and even get support from the community if you have a question and need some help. The compass is kind of like the Windows Start menu or the app drawer or app library on your phone. When you click on it, you'll see all the roles that you have access to. And roles are just groupings of apps that are you know, put together for a particular type of job or, or work that you're doing. Apps are the actual tools on the platform and the pieces of software to get your stuff done. As you start using different apps, you may want to drag some of them up into the My Favorites section for quicker access. In the last video, we modeled this part in SOLIDWORKS and saved it on the platform. If I click on the Content tab, we can look at where that file is stored. Bookmark Editor is a great app to uh, organize your content in a folder-like structure that most of us are going to be used to. Here you see the bookmark we created when we saved in SOLIDWORKS. You can create your own bookmarks or even sub-sub bookmarks to organize stuff just the way you want to. And it's going to be a super easy way to find and open your, your stuff as your library expands. These bookmarks feel like folders, but they're really special tags that link your file or document. It's, uh, it's very similar to bookmarking a web page in a browser. Now, you can delete a bookmark, and that doesn't delete the SOLIDWORKS file. If you move a file to another bookmark, it won't affect the references and break them like it would if you moved a file just in a Windows folder. Also, when you select a file in Bookmark Editor, you can either remove it, which just unlinks it from that bookmark, or you can delete it, which will actually delete it from your cloud storage. Now, the Bookmark Editor is one of the platform tools that you can get to from any browser, but let's see how that's connected inside of SOLIDWORKS. First, just go into the open command and you'll see the traditional Windows dialog. So you can always save locally, but there's also a open from 3D experience button. And that's where you're gonna see a bookmarks tab. Like I said, it's similar to folders and you can open your stuff and it takes advantage of the flexibility of bookmarks. Once you open a file in SOLIDWORKS for makers, you can see all of the platform information over on the right hand side in the task pane in the my session tab. Now, to make a change to a file you've saved on the platform, you need to lock it. That way you have the key and no one else can change it while you're working on it. So we'll skip ahead to where I've finished adding the fillet to this part and I'm ready to save it. Now, my preference is to do your saving in the platform by right-clicking on my, in my session and selecting save with options. Notice I hadn't actually locked the component file that I was adding the fillet to, but I can do that here. I'll go ahead and check that and check the box to unlock the files once we save and then do the save and complete that. You can also pick a bookmark here if you don't have one selected. So we've just scratched the surface on what can be done with the 3D Experience platform in SOLIDWORKS. Safe, secure data storage on the cloud, all on top of a pro set of tools to get your stuff done. Go ahead and start modeling, then explore more of the platform when you're ready.